Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Orgatel C21 Pro and the new Mobile V15 right here on my left. But if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're brand new to the channel. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. Alright guys, so let's take a look at first what comes inside the box, but a charging brick with your wall adapter and re SIM remover tool, okay? Now on the left, we're going to get the B15 right here. Inside the box right here, you can see that we do get, for the um, new mobile, you get your cord, your brick, and your SIM um, remover tool as well. And you're also going to get your smoky gray case with the b 15 from new so I think that's something that's pretty crazy that they both do offer really um, solid cases this one is a little bit more flimsy though compared to the Orcatel one which just feels a little bit more solid but I, I, I really like the fact that they put cases in here they absolutely look gorgeous on the back of both of these devices so you can see the triple camera setup that we're getting on the Orcatel C21 Pro it's got 21 megapixel main um, you also do get for this guy, you also do get a two megapixel macro camera and then a bokeh camera on here as well with an eight megapixel on the front and side mounted fingerprint on here. But you also get a 48 megapixel on this guy with another camera next to it, which is going to be a five megapixel wide, two megapixel for macro and two megapixel for bokeh and then an eight megapixel on the front. Now, these both of these devices do look actually really beautiful in person because of the nature of the design it's kind of mimicking um the iphone design just a little bit right because you can see that that squared off side edge on both of these they have the fingerprint inside of the power button right here so you can lock them right there you could also unlock it with the um clicking that button you just tap it and it's going to unlock okay um so i did get an update on the new mobile b15 right so th there's your volume rockers and your power button with the fingerprint there at the top we're going to get a microphone in the new mobile but we don't get a microphone at the top of the alcatel we get a headphone jack at the top okay now turning it to this side we're going to get the sim card slot remover right here so let me just show you what comes inside of both of these real quick um popping that open right here you this is how you remove the 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 SIM card slot so you could put your SD card inside of there. You put this in there and you're going to see we get a slot here for two nanos and one SD, but you can't use all three at the same time, okay? So that's for the Orcatel C21 Pro, right? But for the new B15, I'm just going to say B15 from here on out, you can actually put your SD card with the two nano SIMs. So you can see I already had one of those inside of there. Let's go overhead to the front and you can see um, when I unlock it, it does say that the new mobile B15 get a software update on here because I just downloaded it. So I'm going to check that out right here by going into the software. Let's just start out with the software that both of these are running on real quick. But you can see we get a 17 by 1560 panel on the Orcatel. Let me put dark mode on this one because you do get dark mode and you do get uh, screen recorder. Oh, that's the night light. There's the dark theme. You have similar setups as far as the flashlight, the battery saver, mobile data, hotspot, location, night light, dark mode, and a, a screenshot. And screen recorder we're getting on here as well as here. So they have similar arrangements as far as like the overall notification panels. But I can't stress how beautiful this panel on the left looks and the right. They both look really good, but the one on the left is going to have a slightly better panel with a full HD 2460 by 1080. So it's going to give you better quality when you're um, scrolling and looking at the screen. So you're going to get better screen quality with the new mobile because it's got that ten full HD panel versus the 720. But honestly, they both look absolutely gorgeous when looking at these guys compared to next to one another. I, I really like that. Just keep in mind, this one's going to have, um, you know, you know, I'm saying like a really good refresh rate with a 5000 milliamp hour battery and fast charging. But the Orcatel doesn't have um, it has a 4000 milliamp hour battery and regular charging. OK, so both of these look absolutely gorgeous. But about the scrolling speeds, Twitter, one, two, three. 
and you can see right here the Alcatel launched quicker right there you can see it definitely launched quicker uh, when it came to launching Twitter so when you're comparing these side by side you can see that the brightness is all the way up and they look really good when you compare them next to each other the the scrolling speeds you can see the 90 Hertz refresh rate might be a little bit better see look when you scroll you're getting you're covering way more ground on the the B15 it just covers way more ground as far as scrolling speeds and just keep in mind, both of these have face ID and side mounted fingerprint sensors. So what I'm gonna do now is test out the speeds on the sensors. One, two, three. That was the B15, one, two, three. That was a close one, one, two, three. And it was the B15 that's the issue. All right, so when it comes to the facial recognition, let's just do that real quick. I'm gonna hit it with an, a different finger. That, the Alcatel opened quicker, one, two, three. That time it was the B15, okay? Let me try to look at the both punch holes at the same time. Okay, so it seems like the B15 just seems to be a little bit quicker, but it just depends. Actually, let me see, one, two, three. Yeah, um, it's really hard to tell. All right, so this is the Helio G88 on the new B15, okay? And the graphics go up to ultra and smooth, so. Wow, this feels really good when I'm moving around on the obstacle course. You can see right here, really beautiful frame rates with the full HD. Ah, I, I missed the button right there, but else I would have really got him good on that, that kill. So let me just uh, try that one more time. You can get first blood on here, but the graphics just flow real nice on here. It looks really smooth. Um, so graphics wise you can't really go wrong with the new mobile b15 it does feel a little bit warm but on the plus side you'd get a headphone jack up top on the uh, g um on the c21 pro and on the b15 you also do get a headphone jack on the bottom and they both have type c single firing speakers so Let's just check out the gameplay on the C21 Pro. So we're just gonna do a, the gamer performance with the C21 Pro. Then we're gonna test out the sound quality and the cameras, and then I'll wrap up the video. Let's take a look at the software at the end of the video too to compare which security they're running on. But if you're still here at this point, just comment down below and say I'm still here. This version is rocking the P22, but there's also a version that has the P60 for the North American model. So I'll make sure I leave the cheapest link down below, but you can get the blue, the B, the new mobile B15 for about $199. And you can get the Alcatel C21 on sale right now with the links down below for about $141, but the regular place is $169. So it's not gonna be as smooth as the B15. When it comes to graphics, you're definitely gonna notice a difference and um wow that was pretty crazy that i got out of that situation so you can get first blood here and you you get some pretty solid performance as well so i was pretty surprised that i was able to get those first two kills on here all right let's jump right into the sound test for the c21 pro That's some pretty decent bass to it. Um, as far as the sound quality, pretty decent as well. But let's just, just let you compare it. I'm gonna let you hear it against the B15 and tell you which one I think is better. All right, so here's the B15. Volume all the way up. Oh yeah, this one's definitely better. Now, when it comes to software and security updates, you're going to notice that the B15 is on February 2022 and the um, C21 Pro is on May 2021. So finally, let's just take a look at the cameras real quick. I'm going to actually open these guys up and compare some of the features. So you can see we get video mode, professional mode on the B15 photo portrait. We don't get portrait for the front facing camera on the Alcatel. So when you click right here, it's not gonna give you the option to flip it, but you will get the rear portraits. Night mode is on the B15 as well. So you can see right there, my face 
you get beauty mode extra macro lens as well and you get the macro lens here as well and you get slow motion on the b15 but you don't get that on the alcatel you just get panorama filter and the uh pro mode so more features slow motion panorama selfie um, panorama as well uh, and then you also do get this there, this another option which is time lapse so pretty good features for both when it comes to the video camera we're going to be able to get uh 1080 on front and rear for the right here the alcatel you can see right here 1080 1920 by 1080 and for the b right here you could click right here and you could get 720 or 1080 as well for the front and the rear on um both of these guys so i really like that part that you can get 1080 for front and rear so let's just do a quick um portrait shot of this guy real quick and then i'll wrap up the video okay so let's just see which one takes a better shot when we do portrait and then i'll take one of my face too so we can kind of see which one takes a better shot when it comes to the point and shoot nice autofocus right there i like how it made up for itself it did have slow autofocus but let's go to the portrait on the b15 now and this one does have autofocus as well so they both did a took about two seconds or so to focus in but this is the quality that we're getting so both look really good um, when it comes to that you let me know which one you think does a better job when it comes to the portraits but as far as i can see they both look pretty equal when it comes to this portrait shot so now let me flip the camera around and do a portrait of my, just a regular shot of my face because the, just keep in mind the Alcatel doesn't have portrait mode on the front. So I'll just do a regular photo on my face and let me know which one you think takes the better photo. All right, so that was the front facing camera for both. And you can see right here that the new mobile just has more detail on my forehead and face more more um texture to it whereas the b15 where there's the c21 pro kind of just smoothed out my face but they both captured that red light equally because it was um i had the leds blowing glowing on my neck so you're gonna get better night photography on the b15 i just want to throw that out there but both take really good daytime photos but let me know which one you think was better overall and i'm gonna get right back with you i'm gonna show up in the comment section answer any one of your questions but make sure you guys have a great morning afternoon evening depending where you are have a great night later crew peace